Did you know there's a scientific reason why borderline personality disorder individuals typically fall victim to substance misuse, alcohol dependency, and addictions of all types? Yeah, it's true, okay? Uh, besides the logical reasons that this happens, um, you know, we're trying to heal from our pain, you know, our suffering, uh, we're trying to run from our problems, we don't feel like we belong, we're not good enough, we deserve punishment. Besides all of that, right, there's a real biological scientific reason we do this. BPD people have lower opioid levels than the average person, than a neurotypical individual. It is completely true. It's a real statistic. It's a real fact. And most people don't realize how impactful that is in terms of how we live our lives. Because we're walking around life feeling really low all the time, while the neurotypical person is feeling pretty okay, right? It's one of the reasons why when we have a beer, we feel normal. When other people have a beer, they feel a buzz. You see the difference here? It takes us so much more just to feel normal. So when our mind subconsciously determines that certain actions, activities, behaviors, substances, anything you can get addicted to, give us some type of chemical that balances us out due to this low opioid level, we feel better, we feel normal, we can cope, right? So this is one of the reasons that we scientifically fall victim to substance abuse. And I, I wanna also mention, it's not just substance abuse that I'm talking about here, we're also talking about shopping addictions, you know, um, promis you know promiscuous uh, type of behavior, um, you know, sex addictions, intimacy addictions, gambling addictions, reckless driving addictions, uh, anything that has an impulsivity kind of element to it usually results in feeling adrenaline. So, you know, all of these kind of reckless behaviors sort of fall under this umbrella.